The clock is ticking for West Asia. All eyes are on Benjamin Netanyahu. When will he hit Iran? And how will he hit back? These two questions will define the region's immediate future. Iran is hoping it doesn't come to that. They held a military parade near Tehran today. President Ibrahim Raisi presided over it. All sorts of Iranian weapons were on display. Long-range ballistic missiles, drones and rockets. The idea of this parade was quite simple. To flex Iran's military muscle. To tell Israel, do not think about attacking us. President Raisi said as much in his speech. He threatened a severe response if Israel attacked. If the Zionist regime makes the slightest move to violate our territory and harm the national interests of the Islamic Republic, they must understand that they will face a severe and heavy response. That threat may not deter Israel. All indications are they will hit back. So Iran is also using a second strategy, asking Western nations to build pressure. Their top diplomat in London is on the job. Listen to his latest statements. This is a good opportunity for Western countries to demonstrate that they are rational actors and they are not going to be entrapped by Netanyahu and his goal, which is to be in power for as long as he could actually stay in power. This is a more viable strategy. The West has the best chance of changing Netanyahu's mind because they have leverage. We saw that over the weekend. The US and the UK shot down dozens of Iranian drones. They gave Israel billions in military aid, so the West can pull some strings. Their foreign ministers are visiting Israel. Britain's Foreign Secretary David Cameron is in the country, so is the German Foreign Minister Anna Baerbock. Both of them met their Israeli counterpart. They also held talks with the Israeli president. Now, Cameron had an interesting assessment. He said it's clear that Israel is going to strike, so he wants that strike to be limited. Uh, it's right to have made our views clear about what should happen next, but it's clear the Israelis are making a decision to act. We hope they do so in a way that does as little to escalate this uh, as possible, and in a way that, as I said yesterday, is, is smart as well as tough. And he's right. Israel is preparing the ground for an attack. Their foreign minister is reaching out for support. He's written letters to 32 countries. He's also spoken to dozens of counterparts. And what is he telling them? Two things, to sanction Iran's nuclear program and to designate the Iranian guards as terrorists. So the diplomatic campaign is already underway. The second is the propaganda. On Tuesday, Israel decided to hold a photo op. They displayed an Iranian ballistic missile shot down by Israel. It was apparently retrieved from the Dead Sea. Now just look at the size of that missile. When you see that, what is the first thought that crosses your mind? how lucky Israel is, how deadly Iran's attack could have been. It's a strategy to rally global opinion, to build support for a counter-strike, which brings us back to Israel's Western allies. Can they nudge Israel towards a less risky attack, one that does not lead to escalation? For that, they must offer Israel something, and that something could be sanctions. Iran's economy is already crippled by Western sanctions. Now the West is preparing more of it. We will increase our outreach with the key partners in the region and some member states propose the adoption of uh, uh, expand the restrictive measures against Iran. Um, with respect to sanctions, I fully expect that we will take additional sanctions action against Iran in the coming days. Both Europe and the U.S. are promising more sanctions, meaning more economic pain for Iran, and Netanyahu knows how important that is. Sanctions are the only thing keeping Iran's economy in check. Without them, its coffers would be flush with oil money. And where will that money be spent? On more defense. So sanctions are a key Western deterrent. They may not avert an Israeli strike, but they could limit the scale of it. U.S. officials are cautiously confident about this. They think Israel will not attack Iranian soil. Instead, they could hit Iranian proxies, like the Hezbollah in Lebanon or the Houthis in Yemen. It all depends on Israel's war cabinet. It was supposed to meet for a third time on Tuesday, but that meeting was put off, and so far it has not been convened today either. Some hardliners in the cabinet want a tough response. Some moderates urge restraint. 
I guess the final call will be Netanyahu's.